Hello guys, this is Bobby and you are watching your favorite channel, Birds Lover. How to know if you have a male or female lovebird. Knowing if you have a male or female lovebird is essential when it comes to raising it properly. In addition to helping you choose the name of your inseparable pet, it is important to know the sex of your bird for health or behavioral matters. Let's talk about physical and behavioral traits between birds. Step 1. Observe how the birds sit. Female lovebirds will tend to sit on perches with their legs farther apart than male lovebirds. Step 2. Compare birds' coloring. Male lovebirds, like many other species of bird, will tend to have more brightly colored feathers than female lovebirds. Step 3. Compare how the birds flare their feathers. When birds meet each other, they will often flare their tail feathers to show off their own gender and establish hierarchy. When females flare their feathers, the feathers will tend to be straight across and of approximately the same length. Male lovebirds' tail feathers will tend to be shorter at the edges of the tail, causing the tail to appear slightly rounded. Step 4. Watch to see if one bird feeds another. Male lovebirds will tend to feed female lovebirds, especially if the female is nesting. Bone Structure Step 1. Hold the lovebird on its back in one hand. Place its head between your index and middle fingers and hold down its wings with your thumb and pinky. This will keep the bird secure and prevent it from wriggling or flapping away. Step 2. Place the free hand's pinky finger between the bird's legs and feel along the bird's tail until you can feel two points of bone. Step 3. Push gently on the bones. If they feel very close together, the bird is male. However, if there is room between the bones and it feels like a finger could slip through them, the bird is female. The difference between male and female lovebirds. It can be difficult to tell female and male lovebirds apart just by looking at them if your lovebirds are members of one of the species whose males and females have no color differentiation. If you own a pair, you stand a good chance of being able to determine your lovebirds' gender identity by observing their physical characteristics and behaviors. If you have a lovebird, male-female differences may be hard to tell unless you have one of the dimorphic species. Lovebirds' Color Differences among the nine species of lovebirds, three species are dimorphic. This means that the males of these species have visible color differences from the females. The three species of lovebirds that fall into this category are the Madagascar lovebird, the red-faced lovebird, and the Abyssinian lovebird. The Madagascar lovebird is also known as the gray-headed lovebird. The head, breast, and back of the neck on male birds will be gray against an otherwise green body, which gets darker on the back and wings. Females of this species are completely green. Male red-faced lovebirds are bright green with yellow coloration on their breasts and undersides. Males have orange-red faces and crowns with green and black wings. Females have faces that are more orange than red. Their wings are entirely green. The Abyssinian lovebird may also be called the black-winged lovebird. Males of this species are green with bright red coloration on their foreheads and surrounding their eyes. The areas under the wings are black on males. Females do not have any red on their heads, and the areas under their wings tend to be more greenish, though they may contain some black. The rosy-faced lovebird is also known as the red-faced lovebird, or even the rosy-cheeked lovebird. If you have a rosy-faced lovebird, male and female differences can be hard to spot. Males have rosy pink foreheads, chins, throats, upper breasts, and cheeks. The females have very similar, but slightly more dull coloring. Lovebird male-female differences Six lovebird species are monomorphic. There is no color difference between the males and the females. While coloring will not help you tell the males from the females in these breeds, there are some physical characteristics you can look for that may help you tell males and females apart. Female lovebirds tend to have broader heads, broader shoulders, and a wider pelvic span than males do. You can estimate the width of the head and shoulders with your eyes and compare the bird with others to hazard a guess whether your bird might be female. Males may have longer beaks than females. Bird Pelvic Bones A common way of checking a bird's gender is to measure the space between the bird's pelvic bones. Checking the pelvic width can pose a risk to your bird if you do not perform it properly. If you are unsure of your ability to handle your bird comfortably and safely, let an experienced veterinarian check your bird's pelvic width for you or teach you how to do it. Typically, 
you'll gently but firmly hold a lovebird so that the back is against your palm and the head is sticking out between your second and third fingers. Rub your finger between the bird's legs, feeling for the two bones located right above the tail. If the bones are close together, the bird is likely male. If the bones are slightly further apart, large enough that an egg could fit through the pelvis, your bird is likely female. Vent sexing is another way to identify a bird's gender. Vent sexing requires manipulating the bird's vent by hand to observe the genitalia. Only a veterinarian or bird handling professional should undertake vent sexing. Gender differences in lovebirds. You may be able to determine your lovebird's gender identity by observing their behavior. Females are more likely to display nesting behavior, such as tearing up or shredding items that are put in the cage. Females are considered more likely to behave in a territorial or aggressive manner. If a lovebird lays eggs, you can guarantee that she is female. If that doesn't work, ask your veterinarian. A sample of your bird's DNA can be used to determine whether the bird is male or female. DNA testing is by far the most reliable method for determining gender of young lovebirds. An experienced avian veterinarian can take the lead in DNA testing your birds, or you can test from home using a kit you'll send to the manufacturer for testing. Lutino Lovebirds the Lutino lovebird is a color variation of the peach-faced lovebird. It is considered a sex-linked mutation. The Lutino mutation occurs when dark melanin pigment is absent from the bird. While the gene that causes Lutino coloration is linked to the sex chromosomes, it is not exclusive to males or females and will not help you determine gender. Male and female Lutino lovebirds are monomorphic. Thanks for watching my video. Please don't hesitate to comment for any further assistance. Don't forget to like, share, comments, and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Until that, take care of yourself and your birds. Bye-bye.